Good day, Domic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. Yesterday was a no vlog Sunday. Uh, didn't pick up the camera once. I brought it with me everywhere I went, but I just just didn't want to bring up the camera. Uh, we uh, slept in a little bit, then I got up and did my work like I normally do. And uh, then we drove to my sister's house uh, because my niece, Michelle, and her boyfriend, Martin, uh, are going to Australia for six weeks. And uh, so they're going to miss Christmas. So we all kind of went to my sister's house. Most of the family was that were there kind of giving them a boy bon voyage. And uh, they left, I think, at around 1130 or 12 because they had to be at the airport three hours before. Uh, and then their flight was delayed. So they had their flight went from Toronto to Chicago to San Francisco to Adelaide and from in Chicago, they had a 50 minute layover. So that's, I'm not sure if you've ever been to O'Hare airport. I haven't been, but I just know it's, it's a disaster zone flying into Chicago and then leaving your plane and trying to get onto another one in 50 minutes is pretty much impossible. So why they booked it like that, I don't know. But when they got to the airport to leave Toronto, that flight was delayed by an hour. So that means they were going to miss the next flight and chain reaction of hell. So they talked to Air Canada. I think they were leaving on American. And then they went, uh, I guess, air, between uh, American and Air Canada, they figured out they'll put them on a direct flight from Toronto to San Francisco, which is what they should have had in the first place. And then they were supposed to have a five hour layover there. But because of all the disaster stuff that was happening here in Toronto, they had to, uh, they only had about a two and a half hour flight, but something else happened and it was delayed again. And so they only had, uh, my sister said, they only had like, I don't know, half an hour or something to get onto the next plane. But now they're made it, they're, they're on their way. <laughs> They've left San Francisco and everything's good there. Uh, so again, we hung out at my sister's house and then she set up um, an eggnog challenge for me uh, to, to a blind taste test, I guess you can say, of five different eggnogs from around Ontario that you can buy. And uh, so that was very cool. My sister, thank you very much, Virginia. And that was just cool. I, I wasn't... I wasn't in the mood to do it, but she had it all set out. And then, so we did it and I was really excited after I did it while I was doing it. And then after I did it, I was like, yes, that was awesome. So, and after that, we went to Carol's brother's house and helped them paint. They have, the, they have this huge uh, renovation going on right now and they're trying to get it done as, as quickly as possible. So we, we stopped by there and I did some painting and cut a door down because they put in an, in an, uh, in a, uh, a tiled floor and the subfloor and then the the uh, concrete that they pour as this another part of the subfloor and then the tile made the floor that much thicker so all the doors that we had taken off were that much too long now so we had to cut cut them down and uh, reassemble and so that was kind of chaotic but uh, yeah we had dinner there and then we came home and last night I watched the rest of Django which is one of my favorite movies if you haven't watched Django, uh, it is a go out and get it now. Plus, uh, go out and watch it now. Plus, uh, it's very violent. Um, so if you don't like violent, bang them up, shoot them dead type things, don't watch it. There's your warning right there. It's a Quentin Tarantino movie. Uh, Jamie Foxx is an absolutely fantastic actor in that movie. Uh, so is Christopher Waltz, I believe that's how you say his name. And um, Leonardo DiCaprio, all of them. Everybody in that movie did an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, but if you're not into violent movies, don't watch it. But if you want to watch some amazing, amazing acting, watch it. Uh, that's one of the movies where I think I've told you guys that after I watched it in the theater and we were driving away, I could have turned right around, went back in, bought another ticket and watched it again. That's how good that movie was for me. Okay, so that's my highest rating I can possibly give anything. Um, uh, and then we got, yeah, and then that's what I watched last night and that was all I did on Sunday. Let me know what you did.